Louisiana Beer Review Seagram's Escapes Cocktails Pineapple Mule Premium Flavored Malt Beverage 100 Calories 5% Alcohol um, it Says Flavored Beer 5% Malt Beverage with Natural Flavors 100 Calories The Seagram Beverage Company Rochester, New York which is part of Fife Co. F I F C O U S A. I guess this is January tenth, twenty twenty two. At twenty hours fifty eight minutes, but I, I really am not sure about that. Okay. There is a way to read their codes. I can't ever remember. I think A is for January, but I don't know what 11 means. Maybe they're... I don't know. Okay, it doesn't matter. I know this is new. It just hit the market March 2022, okay? Now, how are they getting it? 5% al alcohol, alcohol and only 100 calories. I'm, I'm afraid from my first tasting with the lemon one that they're using Splenda. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it had that diet soda all flavor. Now this one has natural flavors with no added color. That's why it's got that yellowish gray appearance. Because this is what they look like when they're malt beverages and you don't add coloring. It's got a gray washed out appearance. Okay, this is the first video review for this product in the world, at the time of the recording at least. Um, no head of foam, popping bubbles, No, going to have no lacing. I don't know what a pineapple mule is supposed to taste like. They're showing a glass with ice in it. it smells like pineapple. There's a little pale malt underbody, like just pale barley malt. But they... they process this if you live in Canada Canada they process this to become like a beer vodka odorless flavorless and they build the flavor on that just like with the flavor vodkas that's what they want they want the base product to be odorless and colorless and if they want to add food color in to give it some color they'll do that Tastes like pineapple, some ginger, like more ginger than pineapple. Uh, that Splenda. I'll never get used to that stuff. Now I know people drink diet, I see them all the time, drinking this, that, the other, so forth, diet drinks. There's no appeal. To, I can't stand a high fructose corn syrup, RC Cola, Royal Crown Cola, Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, Dr Pepper, etc. I like the pure sugar ones, but those are very hard to find, if possible at all. Usually. So you know what? I don't like the splendid taste. That's got to be how to get this to 100 calories. So on the first video, I wasn't sure. I was like, well, is that considered an artificial flavoring? Or, to me, it would be artificial sweetener, right? So artificial sweetener. But then they they like to play games like the FDA might say, Food and Drug Administration might say, well, you see it's a sweetener, but it's not actually a flavoring. So therefore, the flavorings are natural. Um... But I don't know the regulations on that. I thought they had to show it if it was artificial sweetener, but um, I'm gonna try to do some more research, but it sure didn't taste like sugar. But I could be wrong. I don't think I am. I like the ginger aspect. Aspect. I like the pineapple. I like the light body, I guess, because it's supposed to be a light type thing. Um, 
Mostly dry finish. Bitterness units, zero. Zilch, not a none. Sweetness units, well, <laughs> about four out of five sugar cubes or um, something droplets. Sweetener droplets. Um, overall, it's a lot better than the uh, lemon. The lemon was a bit of a shock, though. I could revisit that one at some point. I've seen this 12-pack at one store exactly, Matherns. Didn't see it at any, any Rouse's, no Walmart, no Dorgnax, no Total Wine and more. And they usually have a large selection of these flavored beers. Nothing. So I don't know how Matherns got the... You see, they wouldn't have been seeking it out, though. The distributor would have come to them, which would have been Southern Eagle, and would have said, Hey, you want to try this? This would be a great thing to get. And they might have said, What's the retail on it? $17.99 a 12 pack. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. That's just my opinion of probably how it went down. <clears throat> and I noticed they made a big end cap of all flavored beers and flavored seltzers, which is a type of beer usually made with sugar cane. So. Now, whether they're selling, I don't know. I'm not sitting there examining their sales figures and have no access to that, nor any particular interest in that. I can tell just by um, general observation over the years that the Secrets Escapes line, the 3.2% alcohol and the not very good value 11.2 ounce bottles, that sells very well. Now you can find that in the big bottles too, the 23 and a half ounce glass big bottles from time to time in cans. Sequence Escape Spike, still my favorite of all of this, uh, at 8% holds the flavors together better and I know they're using cane sugar there, but this is not so bad. I gave the lemon the yellow label it's the orange, <laughs> um, going from yellow to orange to pink to red. Um, I gave that one a C minus. I thought it was almost a D, almost just straight out bad. But I suppose you could argue that this is good in some ways. I like ginger beer, like Crabby's, five percent from the United Kingdom. Great Britain in Northern Ireland. So that UK beer, Crabby is 5%, it's really dynamite. Oh well, um, I'll go with a B minus this time, an 80 out of 100, 8.0 out of 10. It's marginally good in this case. And I'm gonna say, lazy, les bon temps relais. Y'all go to Rochester, New York and tour the Genesee Brewery even though they won't let you tour it. You just get to see the little one room showcase thing and uh, the exciting brewery tour, the guts of the operation you don't get to see, which was very disappointing to me. Thank you.